So, you think you know hacking? Sit tight, because I'm about to say the most offensive thing. Everything you know about hacking is probably wrong. Harsh? Maybe true. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Josh, and this channel is all about helping you become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro. Fast. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Whether you've binged hours of ethical hacking tutorials or watched someone launch Metasploit and thought, yep, I'm a hacker now. Today, we're going to burn down the Hollywood version of hacking and rebuild it, brick by brick, with actual truth. Just the stuff real hackers understand and the myths that are holding you back. The Tool Trap Let's get this out of the way. The first big misconception is this. If I just learn all the hacking tools, I'll be a hacker. Wrong. In fact, that's like saying, if I buy a scalpel, I'm a surgeon. Tools are just that. Tools. They don't work unless you know how, when, and why to use them. Beginners get addicted to this cycle of downloading the latest recon tool or script kitty package thinking that owning it means they're gaining skills. Spoiler alert, you're not. Without fundamental knowledge and problem-solving ability, those tools are just clutter in your Kali Linux VM. The Hollywood Hacker Blame it on the movies. You've seen it in Hollywood. A hacker types fast, music builds up, and suddenly they break into the system like it's nothing. But real hacking doesn't work like that. Real hacking is 10% execution, 90% understanding. The real skill lies in knowing how systems work deep down. It's understanding protocols, architecture, permissions, and logic flows so well that you can make them do something they weren't designed to do. That's not just breaking in. That's bypassing, securing, analyzing, and manipulating systems in clever, often elegant ways. And yes, it takes time. Which brings us to the next truth. Watching is not equal to doing. You know what doesn't make you a hacker? Watching someone else hack. Following along with a tutorial and typing the same five commands might feel productive, but it's like watching Gordon Ramsay on YouTube and expecting to open a Michelin-starred restaurant. Hacking is hands-on. Set up your own lab. Get your hands dirty. Try to break stuff, then figure out how to fix it. When you mess up a payload, when your script fails, when you crash your own VM, that's when learning actually happens. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you, and it's the perfect way to get started. In this course, you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system, networks, and applications. You will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing, exploiting the weakness in a system, and all the tools that hackers use. You will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There's never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers earn from $90,000 US dollars to $120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. Real hackers have scars, digital ones, and you earn them by doing, not by spectating. Hacking isn't just attacking. This part might blow your mind. Hacking isn't just about breaking in. It's also about building things that are secure, 
It's about defending, patching, even predicting. The term hacker originated as someone who bent systems to their will, not always maliciously. That could mean exploiting a buffer overflow, but it could just as easily mean discovering a new way to harden an API or secure a misconfigured server. In fact, many of the best hackers are also excellent defenders. They think like attackers to secure better. So if you're only learning how to attack, you're missing half the art. The phases matter. Most YouTube tutorials drop you straight into exploitation without context. But hacking has phases. Proper hacking includes reconnaissance, scanning, enumeration, gaining access, maintaining access, and clearing tracks. Ignoring these is like trying to write a novel with just the ending. Each phase requires a different mindset, a different set of skills, and a lot of patience. The more you understand the structure of an attack, the more effective and undetectable you become. Real hackers plan meticulously. Speed comes after mastery. Another myth that needs destroying. Good hackers move fast. Listen, the only thing that should be fast is your internet connection. Pro hackers are not rushing through capture the flag challenges or hammering keys like they're in a movie. They're calm, methodical, and deliberate. The speed comes naturally after they've mastered the fundamentals. Rushing without understanding means you're missing nuances, skipping over vulnerabilities, and probably overlooking your own mistakes. Remember, in hacking, slow is smooth, and smooth becomes fast. Think like a puzzle solver. Here's the biggest truth. Hacking is problem solving. It's more puzzle than power fantasy. You're not just smashing the door down. You're understanding how the lock works, figuring out how it was installed, noticing that it squeaks in the winter, and using all of that to create a quiet, clever way in. That's the difference between a script kitty and a hacker. Anyone can copy-paste code. A real hacker analyzes systems, understands the logic behind them, and thinks creatively to manipulate them. Think of it like chess, not Call of Duty. You need context, not just commands. You can memorize every nmap switch, every SQL injection string, and every burp suite shortcut. Doesn't matter if you don't understand when and why to use them. Too many beginners chase cheat sheets and command lists without understanding the underlying systems. It's like memorizing punchlines without knowing the joke. Instead, focus on concepts. Understand how HTTP requests work. Learn what TCP IP does. Study how authentication is designed. Tools change. Concepts don't. Creativity is greater than tech stack. What really separates elite hackers from the crowd is creativity. The ability to look at a system and think, what didn't the developer expect someone to do here? That mindset, finding weird angles, quirky assumptions, and hidden pathways, is what gets results. You don't need a PhD in computer science to be a hacker. You need curiosity, persistence, and a stubborn desire to figure things out. That's it. The best hackers are the most curious people in the room. So yeah, almost everything you thought about hacking is wrong. It's not about tools. It's not about speed. It's not about some mystical 10-second exploit that takes down a bank. It's about understanding, analyzing, and solving problems. Hacking is a mindset not a skill set. And if you can make that shift, if you can go from tool chaser to systems thinker, you're already way ahead of the average YouTube learner. Now here's the question. What are you going to do differently after watching this? Are you going to keep chasing one-click tutorials? Or are you ready to start thinking like a real hacker? Drop a comment below and tell me which hacking myth surprised you the most. And of course, smash that like button if this video made you rethink your hacking journey. Hit subscribe if you want more real talk like this, and remember, hacking isn't about what you use, it's about how you think. Stay curious, stay sharp, and I'll catch you in the next one. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.